What's up, everybody? Today is March 4th, 2024. And I'm going to tell you that one of my favorite YouTubers is a guy named Casey Neistat. You probably heard of him because he gets millions and millions of views, has millions of subscribers. I don't know. Probably a lot. Anyhow, um, that is one of my favorite YouTubers. And I would argue that Casey Neistat's videos are potentially some of the best videos on all of YouTube. Now, that's quite a bold claim. And um, it's disputed, definitely. I mean, Mr. Beast, uh, for example, he often claims that he has the best videos on the internet, but he doesn't. Mr. Beast, um, in, in recent times, seems to think that he could just throw money at a video and that makes it a really good video, and it doesn't. Um, doing really extravagant things, buying very expensive hotels or expensive food or giving away a bunch of money or cars or anything like that, that doesn't make a great video, uh, per se. Um, I mean, what does make a great video? I mean, that, you know, that's up to you know anyone's interpretation. But I, I, I really don't believe that just throwing money at a video, putting a little bit of mental effort in, Oh, we have a lot of money. What can we do with a lot of money? Anyone can make a good video with a lot of money is what I'm saying, right? So I don't believe that that makes a good video or not the best video, okay? Anyone can make a good video or a great video with tons of money. But Casey Neistat makes great videos with a little bit of money and a lot of effort and a lot of thinking and a lot of editing and a lot of time and... The perfect um, timing of inserting music into his videos, etc., 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 right? And one thing that Casey Neistat, I have noticed, I've watched a lot of his videos over years, and one thing that Casey Neistat does that is potentially different than a lot, a lot, a lot of other YouTubers, a lot of other people on the planet is that he doesn't seem to delete any videos and he records everything. That is one of his secrets, I think. That he records like everything and he has been for who knows how long, probably at least a decade or two, and he doesn't delete anything. Now, the reason I say that and how I've noticed that is that Casey Neistat, you know, he'll come up with a video and it's, you know, obviously brand new content, something that he created, whatever, within a day or a week or whatever, right? But every now and again, Casey Neistat will throw in footages of him like 10, 20 years ago, when, you know, before he had his children, before he met his wife or when he just met his wife. I mean, just like crazy old stuff. And, and, and you know, and I was thinking about it, I was like, this guy, he's had like this YouTuber mindset before there was any YouTube. You know, he was making videos and again, not deleting any stuff. Probably since at least the early 2000s, if not since the 90s, if not since who knows. Because I mean, really, he comes out with some stuff. It's like, wow, that's some old footage. And he has a lot. He has so much that he even edits it and chops it up and just shows little parts of it but you could tell it's like wow this guy has a lot of old footage so anyhow so anyhow it just you know as a now as now that might mean nothing to you as someone who just watches youtube videos but as someone like me or whoever who makes youtube videos and someone who's interested in being a bigger youtuber that really got me thinking that I think that one of the secrets of being a good YouTuber, at the very least, if not TikTok or maybe Instagram or whatever else, but uh, uh, being a good YouTuber is you have to record a lot, a lot of stuff. Not even with the idea like, because sometimes, or a lot of times, I'll record 
with the thought of mind. Okay, I'm recording whatever footage, whatever's going on, for the purpose of making a video, of using it for content. Whereas Casey Neistat, again, who seemingly has been recording for decades, seems to record not with the thought of, hey, I'm going to use this for content. But it's like, you know... He, just to record, to record, like, like, you know, like a vlogger, but he's been a vlogger before a vlogger was even a thing. Again, I mean, old footage, some old footage that he has. And so, yeah, so I'm thinking to myself, you know, that's, I think, you know, I think he's on, I think that Casey Neistat has cracked one of the codes. One of the reasons he's so popular is, like I said, A, he does great editing his again the combination of his footage and implementing you know perfectly timed music into it and just i mean he's really great at all that kind of stuff but in order to have all that footage in order to be able to edit and, and oh i need i want to use this and that you have to have a lot of recorded footage stored and then when he comes to do a video I think that's what he does. So, and so, so again, as you know, with me, for example, again, you know, I record every time I hit the record button, it's it, it's, it, it's, uh, in my mind, like, okay, I'm going to use this footage for like a very specific thing. Right. But with him, I really think it's like, I'm going to hit record and record this. He f maybe forgets about it. And then years later, he thinks about a video idea and I'm going to do a video about this, about that. You know, it doesn't matter what it is, about politics, about something in New York. He's from New York or, or whatever. And then he starts to think about this footage. What footage do I have that would help me make this video better? He, like, goes into his mental archive. He's like, oh, yeah, back in 2007, I, I filmed myself doing this or I filmed my wife doing this or whatever. So he just records everything. It just has the footage around like a library, like, you know, like a library that has thousands or hundreds of thousands of books. He just has probably like thousands and thousands of hours or however many. And then when he goes to do a video, he's like, okay, what footage can I use to make this, you know, video work? Make, make, make this, like he makes like little movies or whatever you want to call it. So anyhow, I was just watching one of his most recent videos right now. And all this stuff was kind of dawning on me and like, you know, basically, you know, again, me as someone who makes videos on YouTube, I literally try to look at the content of other YouTubers who do well, who get a lot of views or subscribers or whatever. And I literally think to myself, okay, what are they doing that I'm not doing, you know? Um, again, obviously with someone like Mr. Beast, he has a lot of money. It's, it's just, you know, I, I like Mr. Beast videos, some of them anyways, but it's to a point where, like I said, you have enough money. It's easy to make videos when you got a lot of money. Oh, I'm going to tip this server a thousand dollars, or I'm going to tip this homeless person $5,000, or I'm going to give away a free car to, uh, give away uh, 10 cars to 10 different people it's like okay well you know big deal i'm sorry but big deal you got enough money ideas are easy but can casey neistat comes up with ideas without any money he just has a lot of footage and he makes great videos from that footage and that's very very impressive to me so maybe that's one of the keys that i'm i'm missing um, I need to get, and I've said this before, I need to get, um, a good, or other cameras besides just my phone. Cause you know, that's the thing when you only have one camera, there's only so much storage like on my phone and you know, there's only so much storage on my laptop or a tablet or whatever. Right. So maybe I need to do like Casey Neistat and on any device I oh that's the other thing that I've heard him say before too because people ask hey what's your what's your favorite camera to use and hey, you know what his response was he, he's like oh yeah I kind of like this camera I like that camera he said but my favorite camera is the one I have on hand at the the moment and that made something click 
you know, and that's when all this came together. I was like, he, he means that. And what he means is that's his favorite camera because his intention is not necessarily having the best high definition footage or this and that. His intention is to have a camera handy, whatever camera it is, in order, in order to record. That way he has the footage again. So then when the time comes for him to make a video, he could be, he could again go into his uh, memory bank and think, okay, I'm making this video about this topic or subject or whatever. What footage do I have that I could put in? here? That's what he wants. He wants the footage. He wants the hours and hours and again, thousands of hours of footage. Again, using whatever camera, that way he could use it for his videos. And so I, you know, um, then I got to thinking about that. I was like, that's what I, maybe that's what, one thing that I'm doing wrong, like I said, instead of me just recording with intent of, oh, I'm going to use this footage for video. No. Maybe sometimes. But the main thing is just to record. Turn on the record button. Capture the moments. Whatever the moments are, you know. And like him... You know, when you go to make a video, be like, okay, I have this footage. What what um, what footage could I use for this video? So yeah, maybe I need to do that. Record more. Record everything. Record everything, and delete nothing. That seems to be Casey Neistat's uh, philosophy. I'm guessing just from me watching his videos. Yeah, cause. Uh, that guy, he has some, he has a lot of footage. And I'm impressed. Anyhow. So, this is just me, all me, thinking out loud. Literally, you know, I was just watching one of his videos. And all this stuff kind of dawned on me. And, um, yeah, he was just, he had some old clips of, like I said, from early in his marriage. And he, you know, um, there's a clip he had where he, like, I don't know, flip. He got hit by a car on a motorcycle. And it's like, it really started thinking, I was like, Man, this dude's got footage of everything. This dude must hit record, I mean, just like 24-7. You know, I just, like amazing, amazing. Mm. So anyhow. Yeah, I think that's one of the secrets. You know, because um, you have enough footage. You know, if you record enough things, then you're going to have stuff to make videos out of. Yeah, that's it, and that's and that's his thing. I mean, he's recording himself shaving his head, or like I said, uh, you know, um, doing his. Uh, he has like a scooter thing that he goes on around New York City, and his he has drone foot. And oh, that's the other thing too. And and that's what goes back to what he was saying about his favorite camera. He does. I don't even think he likes that question because, like he said, his favorite camera is the one he has. He doesn't care if it's a drone camera. A cell phone camera, maybe a watch camera, uh, that new thing that he had, the, um, oh gosh, what was it called, uh, uh, Apple, Apple Vision Pro or whatever, you know, that has a camera, he got all kinds of, of footage with that, that, that's what he meant, he, so he, you know, he rambled off, oh yeah, this camera's cool, this camera's cool, but it, it doesn't matter to him, it, you know, he, his main thing is just getting a lot of footage, and so anyhow, so anyhow, I'm, I need, I'm going to take that in consideration. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to stew on that a little bit more in my head and, um, and think about that and think, yeah, I, I think I need to, I think I need to rethink my whole strategy. Again, instead of me recording for a purpose, just record. I don't care if I'm, oh, recording a tree or some flowers or the traffic or, or, or me eating or somebody else eating or, you know, anything, anything. Get the footage. And once you have the footage, you can make videos out of it. Hmm. That guy's something else, man. I'm impressed. Very, very impressed with his videos. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Thank you for hearing me ramble off my thoughts. And I'll see you guys next video.